guys welcome to the final video in this bible challenge it has been so amazing if you haven't watched the previous videos please go and watch them so that you can understand what, what this challenge is all about so in this last segment of the video we will be doing a who saint what or, or who saint those ones there will be there will be some extracts from the Bible, what we call Dodo, yeah. some some quoted ones from the Bible, then I'm supposed to say the person that said those ones. Remember the verse challenge was the finish the verse challenge, then we did a who am my challenge whereby a description was given of a Bible character and I was able to to say what person fitted the description. So this video is now about who sent these ones and there will be I think 10 questions yeah, which I have no clue what they entail yeah, but I know obviously I will get all the answers right because I love reading the word of God and this is a challenge to everyone that is watching me. If you are not familiar with the Bible please this year 2023 try to make the Bible your best friend. Yeah just get to know the bible stories bible is one of my favorite books it has numerous stories that i can relate with that are relatable in this life that you can relate to the contemporary society so please make the bible your friend so i'm ready for the questions on to you my director camera person director of videography and photography yeah i'm ready for the questions okay thank you Okay, the first question. Mm -hmm. Are you the coming one or do we look for another? Who says those words? Are you the coming one or do we look for another one? Yeah. There was a time John the Baptist, who was the forerunner of the Messiah, was in prison. And before going to prison, he used to speak about the coming of the Messiah, how the person was of high rank, he could not even be able to tie the shoe races. Yeah, he spoke so highly of the Messiah. And then one time, John the Baptist was jailed. Yeah, he was in prison. And so John the Baptist had some disciples who used to follow him while he was preaching in the wilderness. So when he was taken to prison, we had all those disciples questioning, okay, Jesus went to visit John at the prison. And I think the disciples saw, the, saw Jesus and started asking if he is indeed the Messiah or should they expect another one. Because they were wondering why should the, the person that they were following, that is John the Baptist, in prison. And yet he is the Messiah. Why can't he deliver him on the message? So I think my answer is the disciples of John the Baptist. Correct. Yes. Next question, please. Question two. Uh -huh. How can a man be born... When he is old, mm -hmm. can he enter second time into his mother's womb and get born again? Who said those ones? Yes, that is Nicodemus. He went by night to Jesus because he was afraid, I think, of the Pharisees. So he went at night when no one was watching and he wanted to... to he asked Jesus oh, what would he do so that he can enter into the kingdom of God. Then Jesus told him that he has to be born again. Then that's when he was questioning, how can someone go back to the mother's womb and be born again? So those ones were sent by Nicodemus. Correct. Yeah. The third question. Mm -hmm. Teacher, mm -hmm. which is the greatest commandment in the law? Uh, Who said those words? Those were the Pharisees. There is, I think it was a Pharisee of Pharisees. I don't know why those Pharisees had no specific names, they were just generalized. They were the Pharisees who were trying to tempt Jesus by asking him some questions so that they can trap him. So they were the ones that were asking those same questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number four. Number four. Look, you have mocked me and told me lies. Who said those words? You have mocked me. Yeah, and told me lies. And told me lies. Yeah, say those words. They said true, no, not true, they didn't. Look, 
you have mocked me and told me lies. Yeah. Lies about what all. That those were the exact words. Yeah, those were the exact words. Oh, so obviously the person wanted to be told the truth. Yeah, maybe. Okay, uh, okay that one I'll make a guesswork. I think it's something to do with Samson. There's a time Samson and a wife they are called Delilah. And she really wanted to know the the source of Samson's strength. So at first Samson told her that if they tied I think the, the hair into seven locks, then that's where her strength is. Then she tied and called the three strings, but I think it did not go well then. He, he lied to her again that he, he was tied on the hands with some new strands of, I think, size or something. New size or fibers. Then she, she, he cannot be strong. Then the wife tied, but when the business came, he was able to, to cut the, the strands. So that's when the wife was angry with Samson, thinking that for the second time, he has signed to her that, that that is where the source of the strength is. So I think that's why she is, I, I'm assuming she's the one that said that you have mocked me and told me lies because she wanted to know the truth about the source of Samson's strength. And later on, Samson said the truth. Yeah. Nice guess. You're correct. You're correct. Not nice and intelligent to guess. <laughs> okay, thanks for correcting Thank me. <laughs> okay. The fifth question. This is my year. Uh-huh. <laughs> have nothing to do with this man. Mm-hmm. For I have suffered many things today in a, in a dream mm-hmm. because of him. Mm-hmm. Who said those words? Have nothing to do with this man. That man is Jesus. And those words were said by wife of Pilate. Pilate's wife. Yeah, because she, when... when there was a time Jesus used to be taken to Pirate, Mara to Heron, back to Pirate. And I think that's when that's when Pirate now was able to wash the hands and just released Jesus, I think. Because the wife warned the husband, Pirate. So the ones were seen by Pirate's wife. Am I correct? Yeah, of course, yes. Should, you should know you are Bible. I was a Sunday school teacher, by the way, guys. And these questions are very easy. But anyway... I wish there was a prize at answering all these questions. I could be winning a jackpot already in 2023. On to the next question, number five. No, number six. Uh-huh, number six. Can anything come out of Nazareth? <laughs> there is even a song, but I won't sing it because it's, it's sung in Kikuyu. But that person that said those ones is another Yeah. They know the song. Yeah, correct. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Those ones were sent by Joshua. He was telling the, I think it's the Israelites, you just choose whichever God that you want to worship, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I think it's in Joshua chapter 24. I can't remember the verse, but it is Joshua. And that is also our declaration as a family, as for us and our house, we shall serve the Lord. Okay. Next Number. question. Okay, question eight. Mm-hmm. Lord, if you had been there, mm-hmm. my brother would not would not have died. These questions are so 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 easy. Anyway, that brother is Lazarus, and the person saying those ones was Martha. Martha was brother to Lazarus. Yeah. Jesus and arrived four days later after he was even buried. Yeah, that's why that's when mother met Jesus at the gate and was saying those ones that if Jesus had been there some earlier before, the brother would not have died. Because they had called Jesus when the brother was sick. Yeah. Okay, Martha. correct. Marida. Uh-huh. There goes the ninth question. The ninth question. Naked I come from my mother's womb. And naked I shall return. The round takes, <laughs> the round gives, and the round takes. May the name of the round be glorified. That is Job. 
Hey, that is the simplest. That that is the always the the finishing statement in in most eulogies in those burial. Yeah, the not eulogies. Yeah, the burial program. They normally use that verse so much. Okay. We don't have the verse, but it's the reality and. So those ones were said by Job. Okay, the ninth question. Nine. The tenth question, sorry. The last one. Yes, the last one. Oh, I know. <laughs> you came against me with swords, spears, mm -hmm. and jewelry. That is David. You come to me against. You come against me. Huh? You come. Against me. You come against me with sword, spear, and javelin, yeah. but I come to you in the name of the mighty God. Those ones were sent by David and to who? To Goriath. On what context? When they wanted to fight in a certain valley. Behind the Philistine, which is Goriath, and behind David. Yeah. Yeah, so we are done with the questions. Yes, we are done with the questions. Yeah, so guys, as you, you have seen, I'm so intelligent and I'm not blowing my own trumpet. Try to answer the questions with me in the premier and also in the comment section. Let me know whether you got any question right or wrong. Yeah, so that's all for the Bible challenge. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be doing more, more of this. One day I'll bring my siblings. We we'll do such challenges with them. Yeah, and this will also help in boosting our knowledge of the world of God. So if you have enjoyed the video, kindly consider subscribing. If you haven't, kindly like this video, share yeah, with your friends, turn on the notification bell so that every time I post any video, you will get notified. Until next time, goodbye and I wish you a prosperous new year. This is our year of God's favor. And may the Father keep you as well. Yeah, to all my subscribers, may God's favor locate you this year. Thank you for watching. Let's meet in the next video. Goodbye.